welcome. How's your CES? How's your bunions? 3,900 booths this year, spread out over 35 football fields, and Yahoo asked me if I would mind giving four show tours to advertisers. Kill me now. Um, anyway, as Carrie said, this is the show where the winners are chosen not by some critic, not by anybody with any qualifications of any kind, <laughs> but you people. Uh, there are, in fact, two winners. Uh, one, you will decide live and in person, and then there's an, also an online vote. So we'll see if you match up with what the populace uh, decides, what the popular vote, and we know how that works usually. Um, <laughs> I guess you can think of yourselves as the Electoral College. <laughs> and you should be abolished. Okay. Uh, we have 11 candidates here, not 10. We couldn't, couldn't win them down. They have been selected from thousands of entries by an esteemed panel of judges, whom you will be meeting shortly. Uh, the participants today have had two burdens on their shoulders. One is, of course, they had to come up with an invention, and the other is they had to come up with a four-minute demo that works <laughs> under horrible Wi-Fi conditions. So that's always the most fun part of this. So the point of this is to have fun. It's not scientific, no belly aching about the winner. Uh, it's just a good glance at a group of cool project, products. So each of these candidate inventions will be introduced by one of our judges, those whose work is really already done because they winnowed down uh, these products. So the first judge is Mark Saltzman. He is described as a prolific freelance journalist and a 16-time author. That sounds like me on a Saturday. Like, oh, let me make lunch. <laughs> okay, I'll try it again. Anyway. Um, and he writes about consumer electronics, internet trends, and interactive entertainment. Mark Saltzman. Thank you very much, David. And I'm very uh, fortunate to freelance for Yahoo as well. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this is my third Last Gadget standing, if I'm not mistaken, to be part of. So thank you to Carrie and Robin for including me in that. All right, so as David mentioned, I've written a couple of books. My last one was Apple Watch for Dummies. Uh, let me ask in the crowd here, if, just show of hands, please, who has a smartwatch of any kind? Okay, good number of you, I guess, you know. At a show like CES, I would expect nothing less. Uh, but now I have a question for you, and feel free to call it out. What is the number one pain point with any smartwatch? What's the number one thing that drives you nuts about it? Battery life, life charging—exactly. That is without question. And uh, I, again, as the author of uh, Apple Watch for Dummies, and, the, and Apple Watch isn't alone in this space, that. Uh, Power, battery life, is the Achilles heel of, of these devices. And it's probably no surprise given how small they are, right? But it's a pain in the you-know-what to charge it up often. So their first presenter may have a solution for us. Very cool stuff. It's called the Matrix Power Watch. And I'd like to introduce you to Akram Bukai. He is the co-founder and CEO of Matrix Industries to show us the Matrix Power Watch. Please help me welcome him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Hi, everyone. We are Matrix Industries. My name is Akram Bukai. This and is I'm Douglas Tam. We are the co-founders of the Matrix Power Watch. It is the first uh, smartwatch that's powered by your own body heat, so you never have to charge it. It uses thermoelectrics that converts your body heat to electricity and powers the watch. Uh, Douglas and I met at Caltech, where we got our PhDs, where we developed uh, the research behind the watch and started the company five years ago. Uh, for the last three years, we've been working on this technology, and I'll walk you a little bit through, the, um, through, the, through its history. So there is a lot of heat out in our world. So we've got you know, power plants that emit a lot of heat. The, um, you've got automobiles. Heat is everywhere. About 30 trillion watt hours of heat are wasted in one year. And so we got the idea that we wanted to recycle some of this heat with our technology to generate power. And when we started looking at applications, we realized wait a minute, there are wearables out there that have battery problems, and your body emits 100 watts at rest. So Jamie here, sitting down at work in her office on her computer, emits 100 watts of energy, of, of, of heat, and uh, Chris over there, exercising, is about a kilowatt of heat. And so we are gonna use this heat 
to generate electricity. Also, landfills, about three billion batteries a year are thrown away in landfills, so we can you know, basically uh, eliminate some of that waste. So you, this is the Matrix Power Watch. It's a smart watch that does activity tracking, sleep quality, calorie count, um, notifications. It's, um, it's got a BLE radio. Um, it does everything you'd expect of a you know, fitness activity tracker and smart watch. It's got customizable watch faces. Um, we're releasing an SDK with APIs later this year so that developers can um, hack into it. And the great thing about it is that we don't have to charge it because it's powered by you. Now, we've set up a competition here. Jamie's sitting down. Chris is exercising. We're going to see who produces the most power from our watch. We're going to need the camera over here. We're ready for the, the competition. All right, so, so Jamie here is working, working. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the, the watch on her wrist and see how many bars she can light up. Are we ready? All right, here we go. You'll see a circular array of bars that appear. Oh, and now it's pretty being good. There you go. She's pretty warm. <laughs> I don't know if Chris can do it. I don't know. He's, he's, he's working really hard right now. All right. All right, but, guys, but, but you've been working really hard. I think I'm going to switch up the, the rule on you. You've got to have to max it out, man. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's give Chris a round of applause for it. Let's, let's see. Let's see uh, what okay, he can okay, do save here. It, Come save on. it for the end, man. Save it for the end. All right, all right. You ready? All right, you save, ready? save it for the end. Save all right, all right. Ready? All right, give me your arm. All right, let's Can you max go. it out? Can you max, max it out? out? Can you show it to the camera? Get closer, guys. Can you max it out? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's, man, I think he needs some help, man. All right, all right, we're going to help him out. We're going to help him Jamie out. Jamie beat you. All right, Jamie beat you. All right, all right, pull over, pull over. <laughs> all right, there we go. <laughs> all right, all right. He'll all max right. it out. All there right. it goes. You call yourself athletic? <laughs> All right, give him a hand. Thanks, guys, for Matrix Power Watch. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> cool. So, gentlemen, gentlemen, before you go. So, wait, 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 wait. So, okay. kind of bury the lead a little bit. So this is this is a product. Is it a Kickstarter? This is an idea. Oh, no, no. We're we're currently crowdfunding it on Indiegogo. Um, it is a product. We're going to deliver the watch in July. We have over seven thousand backers. We've raised almost eight hundred thousand dollars in the in the last uh, month and a half. Eight hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And this is this is mine. <laughs> sure, <laughs> take it. <laughs> um, so this is this is a one-off hand-built. Yeah, EV printed prototype. These are we're calling these um, our EVT1 units. Um, so a little bit further than the prototype stage. Uh, okay. We've got uh, about uh, ten or ten of them or so in the lab, um, and then we're going to be manufacturing the watch. Um. So, so sadly, your your models were moving too much for us to see what was happening on the big screen. Oh no. So okay. do you mind? Can you put it on your wrist or my wrist? And, put it on and your wrist. Let's yeah. let's really do this right. Is, tell us if the angle is good and the focus is good, and I'll be super still. All right. Okay, wait, hold on, we're not ready yet. Oh, we're not so ready. Still focusing. All right, we're going to see if you're alive, David. <laughs> <laughs> Ask my wife. <laughs> All right, now All right. we're good. Here we go. It's going up. It's, it's, out, it's out of focus. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there there we, go. we go. You guys see the bars around the, around the uh, circular edge there? Okay, and what is that telling us? That's so that's, amount, that's the amount of power you're generating. Thanks a lot. That's that's it tells that's you how power much generated power in, based in, on my body heat based on your body heat and that's right. and so if if this is a thing why is not every phone on our thigh and every you know Google glasses on our temple why isn't everyone using because, this be, idea because this technology was wasn't possible even two years ago um, we're taking advantage of super low power electronics that just came on the market we're using the Ambic Apollo MCU we've got super efficient boost converters uh, linear tech has one of the best boost converters, and that, that's a brand new, I mean, that's not that old. And we've got, um, we've done the whole, we've really designed the whole system. So the ability to move heat in and out to maintain that temperature difference is super, super important. And if we power optimize the firmware as well, there's a lot of wearable companies out there that are not optimizing, you know, simple things like firmware. So we've just developed the whole system around it that, that makes it. And you'll, you'll look these people in the eye and tell them that this isn't a hoax. I pr I'm, I'm a Caltech PhD, and my <laughs> thesis, my advisor would kill me if this was a hoax. I'll find I'll <laughs> find out if you're a Caltech PhD. I'll, <laughs> Please, I'll look uh, that up. Prove it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. thank you, gentlemen. Thank Congratulations. You so Thanks, Great idea. Thank you. Great idea.